Tonight, Channel 9 has looked at some dangerous chemicals that have been dis discovered in extraordinary high levels in water near Kings Mountain. And now we've uncovered some documents that say some of that came from a plant that cleans industrial equipment. And the chief operating officer there ended up deported. Channel 9's Ken Lemon has followed this case in court and sorted through those documents that go back three years. And Ken, today you went down to that creek with the Broad River Keeper to talk about this. Yeah, and he is concerned about pollutants here. He says that it is far more than this Kings Mountain water plant can handle and dilute before it ends up in the Potts Creek right here behind me. One uh, plant here, Cormatech, was allowed to send some of their pollutants here to be treated before it got into the water. Uh, but documents say that at some point they were sending just way too much. Can you tell me what happened here? Cormatech's former chief operating officer, Thies Huffman, did not want to talk to me after pleading guilty to five counts of violating the Federal Clean Water Act and would you in like 2016 anything? and 17 and repeatedly lying about it. The German-born immigrant was given probation and forced to leave the country and never return. When we learned about this case, we asked more questions about the Kings Mountain plant that makes and cleans industrial equipment used for power plants and shared that information with the Broad River Keeper. There's been some foul play. According to EPA records, the Kings Mountain water plant that processes waste from Cormatech and other industries and homes was releasing excessively high levels of cancer causing pollutants like thallium. What this is showing in 2017, a thousand percent over the limit, yes. That is a dangerous chemical. Thallium was used for years in rat poison, and they've, um, and the EPA finally. Outlawed that. There was more in 2018. 400% over the limit. He said other industrial plants could have caused this, but we learned that this was about the same time that the city realized it was receiving high levels of thallium from Cormatec. Kings Mountain City officials say their documents about issues with Cormatec are not related to the investigation into the company's former COO, but it's all alarming. The kids play in this water, uh, people fish. It the river keeper took me to Potts River, where water from the treatment plant is released. The water looks green with an obvious odor. A reading of 100 contaminants is very high, he said, but here... Fluctuating between 600 and 1,000. The river, creep, the river keeper said that the state agreed that making changes to dilute the water here at the treatment plant, well, that will be extremely costly for the city of Kings Mountain. So they're given until May of 2020 to make those changes. Meanwhile, the Justice Department says they are still investigating this case despite the conviction of these Hoffman. Erica. All right, Ken, I understand also it's not the end of this. Uh, you learned there's more to come at the plant, possibly even in court. Yeah, there is still a possibility of more to come here with that work to be done. And we're told that variance, if that work isn't done by the point of that variance, they can still do some more. Also, we were told that just as of last month, according to the EPA records, Erica, that the water levels uh, just outside of here at that release point was at 494% uh, above the limit of thallium, Erica. All right, and we understand they've been given until May of next year to make some changes. Thank you, Ken.